Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to Snake Valley. Snake Valley is a town in central western Victoria, Australia, 27 kilometers or 17 miles west of Ballarat and 154 kilometers or 95 miles west of Melbourne in the Shire of Pyrenees. A post office was opened on the 1st of March, 1859. In 1857, a major gold rush occurred in the area, comprising Carnham and Snake Valley. Supposedly, a miner found snakes in a shaft he was sinking, and this gave rise to the name of the location. Settlement preceded the rush, and a primary school had opened in 1854. For at least 10 years, Snake Valley was exclusively a gold mining area. Bullier's Victorian Gazetteer in 1865 recorded Snake Valley as having a court of petty sessions, a mechanics institute and five hotels. The surrounding country was described as undulating, moderately timbered and well grassed, which provided the right conditions for farming. There were several creeks to the west two with permanent water. By the 1880s, Snake Valley was described in the Victorian Municipal Directory as a dawdling mining town with outlying farming districts. There were five churches as well as five hotels. The dawdling character of Snake Valley had persisted with houses on small allotments and farms extending for about two kilometers along the Carnham Linton Road. The locality had attracted new families with the population increasing since the 1960s. There had been sufficient patronage to one of the hotels to keep going and local recreation was enhanced with a sporting complex in 1989 and a branch of the municipal library. Snake Valley has a general store, a primary school, a recreation reserve, an irregular 12-hole golf course, three churches and the Mechanics Institute Hall. The former Methodist Church is heritage listed and has been used as a scout hall. There is an airstrip east of the town. The Karingam Bola clan of the Wutherong are the traditional landowners of the Snake Valley Karnam district and inhabited Snake Valley for tens of thousands of years before Europeans arrived. Today, the local economy is agricultural in nature. It is dominated by a broad acre farming, grazing and timber industries. Snake Valley has football, netball and cricket teams. Those interested in the history of the Royal Hotel is that it was once home of the Man of Kent Hotel and had served the community for over 50 years. In need of repair, another iconic local hotel, the Prince of Wales, was relocated to the site in the 1990s and the two buildings merged together. Completed in 1921, the new building was named the Royal Hotel. The Royal Hotel still operates today and I have left a link to their website in the description below and all the credits of the photos and information and references that I've used in this video is also in the description below. Now, just as a heads up to those that might be using headphones to watch this video, there was a lot of wind noise. And unfortunately, even with our drone, we had to reduce the amount of time uh, that the drone went up. So there is some aerial footage of the area, which looks great, I think. Uh, and on this occasion, my son and I came out here together. We took the motorbike and also our little red ute, and we parked the motorbike up near the general store and just went around by the uh, the ute to take all the footage. Now for those who aren't familiar with the term ute, ute is pretty much an Australian term for vehicles that are like pickups as an example. They're normally a uh, regular sedan that's had, the, that's had the back half pretty much chopped away and a tray can be placed or a bucket can be placed at the back and they all come from the actual manufacturer so this one's a Ford, it came from the Ford factory built this way and they're very popular in Australia. So basically the term ute is in reference to a utility vehicle.
now as we slowly pan to the right, there is another structure or building alongside the church. It has a plaque and it states that it was once the Sunday school.
So here we are nearing the end of this video or presentation and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, by all means, click on that like button or that thumbs up icon and please subscribe. Subscribing really doesn't cost you a cent and it really helps out the channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.